Hello, seventh grade students. Let's talk about the scheduling procedure for next school year. Here is what an example schedule could look like. As you can see, first period is gonna begin at 7.45 a.m. First period will be 50 minutes long. In this example, we have language arts first. Then second period, science. Third period, phys ed and health. Fourth period, French. And fifth period, lunch. As you can see, lunch from 11.17 to 11.44. Eighth grade's a little bit different because there is no support class. So keep that in mind, no support class in eighth grade because we have an extra class, which is our world language, French or Spanish. Sixth period, if you take music, sixth period from 11.47 to 12.45 is going to be your music course. If you are not taking music, which we don't make you take music in eighth grade, if you are not taking music, you can select a number of elective courses. So we will look at that and talk about that. Seventh period, you could have math from 12.48. 48 to 145 and eighth period social studies. So your daily eighth grade schedule contains two full periods for elective courses. All students in eighth grade will take physical education and health. Health is a two week part of that phys ed class. You will also take art. You will take family consumer science. You will take world language and technology. These courses will each be one quarter long or nine weeks. Music is a year-long course. It will take up four quarters of an elective. Here is the sheet that you got. So here is your elective registration form. Put your name on top and are you taking a music? If yes, which music? Please circle the answer below. If you are not taking a music, remember to circle that. Each eighth grade student takes a world language class as a core class math, science, English, or social studies. Those are core classes. This class lasts the full academic year. Please circle your choice below. Even if you did not take French this year, which nobody took intro to French, then you can still take it next school year, okay? So if, if you're interested in French, make sure you sign up for that. So here, Rank the courses you wish to take in eighth grade in your preference. It says one through eight, but you can rank something two times if it very much interests you. Please be aware that course ranking does not guarantee enrollment in your selections. Class size and availability will impact your schedule. For example, if 200 students sign up for creative stitching, we don't have that many sewing machines, so we can't accommodate everybody. So we are going to make sure it's fair and balanced and you still get something that you want to take. And again, every student will take physical education and health. And this is important. Please sign and return your elective sheet to your homeroom teacher no later than Friday, May 21st, 2021. And we do that so that we can plan in the summertime and have your parents sign it. You're going to rank your courses again, one through eight. And you may elect the same course two times if you're not enrolling in a music course. And please be aware again that class ranking does, course ranking does not guarantee enrollment in your selections. Class size and availability will impact your schedule. All right, let's talk about these courses. In art eight, students will have the opportunity to go further in depth into the study of visual arts. Students will use a variety of materials and apply the elements of arts and the principles of design into their artwork. Each nine week course will be different over a two year period or between seventh and eighth grade. The students will further enhance their knowledge of art vocabulary while applying, in, while applying it to more advanced art projects. Projects may be in any of the following art mediums, drawing and design, fibers, mixed media, printmaking, computer graphics, photography, ceramics, sculpture, and painting. Students will also utilize the four core areas of art education art appreciation, art history, art production, and art criticism. Computer technology aid. Students will learn social media awareness, apply digital skills to get ready for the rest of their academic and professional careers, and they will use the new VEX robots. Eighth grade used to have a course called robotics. This is where that takes place in computer technology aid.
Family and Consumer Science 8. Students will learn skills that will help them become more independent persons and better informed consumers in this hands-on class. In sewing, the emphasis will be on making repairs, using the sewing machine independently, and sewing a chosen project. Parents and students will provide materials for project. In foods, the focus will be on advanced preparation techniques and recipes for main meals and party foods. Food and technology. Students will use a science-based approach to cooking as they analyze information on proper cooking techniques and methods, nutrition, meal planning principles, food experiments, recipe creation, and cultural foods. This class will balance cooking labs and supportive activities. Creative stitching. Students will create a project of their own choosing in this differentiated class. All levels of experience and skills are accepted as students choose from the following possibilities. Using a pattern or kit to construct a project, copying and constructing a ready-made item, creating an original freestyle design such as fleece blanket with applique, as well as many accessory items. Parents and students will provide materials for projects selected. Phys Ed 8. You will have class every day for a quarter and are required to wear a PE uniform every day. A highlight for eighth grade PE is the awesome archery unit where you will go to shoot with real bows and arrows. You will also try, get to try other new sports and units you didn't get to play in seventh grade, such as ultimate frisbee, bocce, and doubles mad badminton, just to name a few, as well as other popular units like flag football, basketball, volleyball, team handball, volleyball, cricket, and TACRA, depending on your quarter. You will have daily fitness at the beginning of class and will take the three fitness tests as well. Most Fridays will again be Friday fun days to play popular games like smash ball, dodgeball, or capture the flag. Physi or physical education will also have a two week health component. So you'll take two weeks of a health class as part of this class. In chorus, students will develop vocal independency, group working skills, blend and balance as it applies to the basics of choral music. The study of the changing voice is continued with special attention to three and four part harmonization. Students will also continue their study of the musical elements through standard choral literature. Highly motivated students will have the opportunity to participate in the Ohio Music Educator Solo and Ensemble Contest. Seventh grade chorus and or equivalent in a true desire to sing are recommended. A satisfactory vocal audition set up between teacher and student is required for admittance. Required performances include three concerts as well as the OMEA large group adjudicated event. In band, students will rehearse and perform together as a unit and will develop more advanced ensemble techniques and more challenging materials in the seventh grade band. Special emphasis is placed on preparing for the transition to the high school program. Students will prepare for several concerts as well as an OMEA large group adjudicated event. Students may also play in small ensembles with the option of participating in an OMEA solo ensemble contest. Note, this ensemble will be quite challenging for students who have not played an instrument before this year as this is not an introductory class. Private lessons are strongly recommended for any students new to an instrument. And strings. Emphasis will be placed on large group techniques, including working with the conductor, bowing in unison, and maintaining balance. Students will prepare material for at least four concerts throughout the year and for performance at OMEA large group adjudicated event. Students will also rehearse and perform in small ensembles with the option of participating in OMEA solo ensemble contest. These ensembles meet every day. Private lessons are strongly recommended for any students new to an instrument. <laughs> if you have any questions, please email Mr. Grodick, that's me, at tom.grodick at bayschoolsohio.org or ask your teacher. If you see me in the halls in the next couple of weeks, please stop me if you have any questions or uh, ask a counselor, again, ask a teacher if you need help with this. All right, thank you so much.